Hey, what's up? It's me again, Target Pro, and we are going to talk about that Wi-Fi repeater, Wi-Fi extender that uh, some of you guys are asking when I made a tutorial on making use of your old Wi-Fi router as an access point switch or repeater. This is actually a supplementary video tutorial for that. There should be a link popping up right now there. You can go ahead and click that one, check that one out. Now, before we start on a Wi-Fi repeater configuration, I want to quickly explain how a Wi-Fi repeater works. This is our main Wi-Fi router and this is our Wi-Fi repeater. Now this Wi-Fi repeater is going to receive that Wi-Fi signal from this Wi-Fi router here and it's going to rebroadcast it around so that this Wi-Fi router can expand the coverage of the Wi-Fi signal in a certain area. Now newer Wi-Fi routers and Wi-Fi access point nowadays have the feature in them that you can quickly use them as an access point or a Wi-Fi repeater or extender or a MIDI adapter for computers that doesn't have Wi-Fi capability. This actually is a, a Wi-Fi access point, but it can do one of these things at one time. So you can use it as an access point or a repeater or extender or a MIDI adapter. Now, even this one, this uh, Wi-Fi router I have here, it's an ASUS and it has been with me for the last three years. It also have the feature I'll show you in my screen right now which operation you want it to be. Is it going to be a repeater? Is it going to be a Wi-Fi router? Is it going to be an access point? And it's very easy to uh, configure this one. Now, if you try to log into your Wi-Fi router and you cannot see a feature like a repeater mode, Wi-Fi access point mode, router mode, like this old router I have here, it's a Cisco E2000. It's around eight to 10 years old, I guess. Don't worry guys, we still have a solution for that, a workaround. After I'm done with the repeater configuration of this uh, tutorial, we're going to go and configure this one to become a Wi-Fi repeater, okay? So you stick around. Let's go ahead and configure this Wi-Fi access point as a repeater. And uh, plug this one so that you can see and then go back go into my computer now that I'm on my computer I want to check the IP address so that we can connect to this access point adapter and then probably status details okay so the IP address of this one is 192.168.0.254 close close we can close the one close the one and go to our web browser 192.168.0.254 enter I haven't configured this one so the default username and password should be admin and add admin all right good we're in and then like what I've said it's very easy to configure this one let's go ahead on operation mode is it going to be an access point repeater client or multi SSID since we're talking about a repeater we're going to click on repeater and then save Okay, uh, this will reboot itself. We're going to wait for that one. So there's actually a quick explanation here on your right pane, and then you can read that one and try to understand which application you want to use. Since this is already a repeater, we need to connect this one to our main router. So we go to our wireless. So the SSID to be bridged, this is our main router. So if you do not know that yet, you can click on wireless scanner to scan that one and it should show us. So our main router is this one, Brent the Great. And we can slide this one over. We can select Brent the Great, connect. You can see it here, Brent the Great in the MAC address and then the security type. I'm going to put in my password. and then save this one. Once this is going to be saved, this will already be a repeater. Let's go to status. We have the repeater here and then you can see it's connected to Brent the Great. I'm going to get my phone and try to scan the network and try to see if there are two Brent the Great that is being broadcasted so that you can see. Now for us to check if our Wi-Fi repeater is working, I have downloaded a Wi-Fi analyzer. You can download that one also from Google Play. It's a free download. We can open this one. This one, Brent the Great, Huawei. It has a lower, uh, the broadcast of the signal is lower. This is the main router. And then we have the Brent the Great that is full bar. This is the repeater. We can also go and check on the graph here. So you can see it here guys on the app of the Wi-Fi analyzer on the channel graph. We have two signals. We have the Brent the Great, the first one, and then we have the Brent the Great, the repeated signal. So that's how you can check that one quickly. 
Okay guys, since we have configured this one as our Wi-Fi repeater, you have seen that one already, but if you do not have the feature in your Wi-Fi router like I have here, mostly old routers, we are going to change the firmware of this Wi-Fi router so that we will have the capability to make it as a Wi-Fi repeater. So let's get into my screen right now and start doing that one. I'll just plug this one and then the next thing you'll see is my screen. Let's get started. We'll just check again our Wi-Fi adapter to make sure that we know what we're dialing in and change adapter settings, uh, right click here, status. And then the IP address of this router is 192.168.1.1. That's what we're going to use on our web browser. Okay, that's 192.168.1.1. Let's log in, admin, admin, that's the default password. And if you try to see here, there are no options for us to kind of select the operation mode of this router. There is actually an open source firmware for routers. The name is DDWRT. We go to Google, type in DDWRT. This is the open source firmware that we can use. Click on DDWRT and then we go for downloads. You type here the model number of your router for me it's actually e2000 you click that one uh, it will give you few uh, it will give you some data here it is linksys it's correct the model number is e2000 this is supported by ddwrt so if your router appears here good for you you can use this open source firmware so we're going to download click on here and then scroll down we can click on this uh, first one here and then download this one download like that and we'll wait this will be quick now that it's done we're going to locate where this is show in folder and then we copy this one I want to make sure that this is on my desktop so that it is easier for us to locate if we are going to upgrade our firmware and then we look for a part where it says firmware upgrade in most cases it is under the administration tab if you cannot find administration tab on your router just try to locate where you can find the firmware upgrade we're going to upload the file that we have downloaded. That's the firmware. And uh, that's DDWRT open. And then we can start to upgrade. Now there's a warning here. Upgrading firmware may take a few minutes. So please do not turn off or press the reset button. Upgrade must not be interrupted. So we're going to wait for this one and hopefully it will be successful. Okay, you have seen there, upgrade is successful. Uh, you will be returned to a previous page after several seconds. Okay, there you go, that's your DDWRT control panel. Uh, the first thing we need to do is change the username. I'll change it with what I have here. Let's say, I'll just say admin. Uh, so once you have changed your password, you will be directed to this page. This DDWRT is kind of feature rich open source router firmware so you can do a lot of things with this one it will actually unlock a lot of features for your router but for now we are mainly focused on the wi-fi repeater itself since we are in this um, page right now um we can actually check on the wireless tab here and try to see the difference once you click on the tab there it will require us to log in so a login like that and of course like that sign in we can choose this one to become uh, access point, client bridge, or repeater, repeater bridge. But before we can do that one, there are a few configurations we need to do first before changing this one. And we need to start on the setup page so that this will become a Wi-Fi repeater. First, we need to disable the one connection because this will become a repeater. We need to disable this one, disable. And then here in the router name, uh, you put the name you want to. I'll just put this one as repeater and we scroll down the router ip uh, should not be the same with the ip address of our main router so let's just say the main the ip address of my main wi-fi router is 192.168.1.1 i'll just go with 1.10 because having two same ips in one network will cause issues in your network and our dhp server should become DHCP forwarder because we are not going to provide DHCP 
uh, IP address to our clients. So we'll put the one there. And the DHCP server should be the IP address of our main Wi-Fi router. So we'll put it here. 192.168.1.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.